What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Deuce MS. If you're watching later on YouTube, you're watching Farmer Deuce. I appreciate you joining in. Remember, there's links down below. Subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. Leave a comment uh, down below. Anything as simple as uh, just an emoji would be good for the algorithm. I appreciate you. Bob, how's it going? Crystal, how are you? Good to see you. Over here on live channel, twitch.tv slash Deuce MS. Come hang out for live streams if you want. Gabe, what's up, buddy? Uh, remember that this uh, sponsor tag in the video or the live stream uh, is for Nitrado. It's because I re receive a free server for being a partner. Not because I'm paid to talk about them. Uh, I mean, I guess that technically is payment. That's the reason I have to disclose it uh, via the sponsored content. Uh, either way, this server is hosted on Nitrado. If you want to host your own server, grab that first link down below and head over and grab you a server from anything from Minecraft to FarmSim. Uh, also, if you're looking to pick up a game, use my Nexus link and uh, pick you up a Steam key. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't make money unless you uh, unless you buy something. So I get a commission. Appreciate it. Uh, that out of the way. Today we're going to be setting up course play routes for lots of fields. Uh, hopefully. That's the goal anyway. And I'm probably, since we got three different sets of harvesters here, I'm probably going to set up, uh, I think I've got two at each position. So I'm probably going to come up here and set up two here and then go over and set two in this area and then come down here and set two in this area. And we'll go from there. Uh, and as we get more and more done, there should be more and more done, basically. Uh, but I'm waiting on the fields to finish loading, as you can see. They still got uh, a minute to go here, but um, I think I'm going to start at the lowest number, which would be field 50, it looks like. 50 looks like the lowest one we need to do. And we're going to start with harvesters, and then we're going to switch over to mowers as well. And I hope we got more than one big M. That would be handy. We had one of these positions. There's one set in there. So, um, but yeah, we're going to start at field 50 and then go from there. So 50, 51, I don't think there's anything down here on 55, 56 yet. Uh, 61 even, I think this is all grass over here. It is, okay. Yeah, so we're going to go 50, 51. And then I guess we'll go to 66 or work our way around this way. This seems to be... Yeah, we'll just go from low to high here. I think that'll work. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy. And we're going to unfold. We're going to go ahead and head down to field 50, which is right down here. Uh, I think all these are ready to harvest. Let's double check here. They may not be ready to harvest. They may be... Uh, that one's already been harvested. So we'll skip that one. We'll go straight to field uh, 51. Uh, I guess I can stop and set it up anyway. So... Sammy, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Yeah, we can go ahead and set one up for 50. We'll just move on to 51 afterwards. So basically what's going to happen is after I create this, um, and, and if you're making your own course play, then if you want to use it to pick up as well, uh, you can do that. And I think I actually need to... Oh, I don't have to do that. I forgot. Uh, I, 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 play on, I play on two different servers with uh, manual, manual attached, so no need to do that on here, though. Um, so basically, once you set up your harvest um, horseplay, you can use that to do bales, you can do, use a pickup wagon, whatever. You just use that same exact course. Uh, because what happens is when you, when you center up on the field, right, when you, when you do this, the straw swath comes out in the middle of the harvester. Uh, for most of them. There, you might have one that doesn't. It might come off uh, the side or something. So... Um, but if we wanted to change this to multiples, we could. We could, in fact, do that because we have two harvesters down here. Now, that's the question for the people on the server. Do you want to set these up for dual harvesters so they get done faster, or do you just want one harvester working it? That's the biggest question. Um, I'll let you think about that for a minute while I explain the rest of this. So basically, we're going to go over here. Let me see if I can find uh, There we go. That's a good background for it. So we're on field 50, 50 right here. I do believe, yeah, field 50. So we're going to go to course play. We're going to create a folder. We're going to call it field 050, right? That way, when we do field 1, we do field 01, and they come up in order of the way they do, but we're not doing field 1. We're going from field 50, but either way, you get the point. Uh, it just makes them come up in order. That way, if you have field 1, field 11, it doesn't come up field 1, field 1, 1, field 2, 1, right? Field 2, field 2, 1. Uh, basically, it'll come up in whatever number is first. So if you put zeros in front of everything, you start with 010203, it'll line your folders up, 
uh, in numerical order. So we're going to go field 0, 050, and then we're going to go to um, here, uh, I think. There we go. No course. We're going to do this. We're going to zoom down because we want to tell it that we want to start right here. So we're going to go target position uh, right there, right? And then field position, boom. Oh, sorry, field position, boom, right there in that corner as well. And then we're going to open generator. Uh, and if we want one tool, we just tell it one. And it automatically reads the width. If we want one tool, we tell it one. If we want two, we tell it two. Uh, and then I'll show you how to set up left and right on it. I, I just need to know if, if Gabe and Crystal want this um, multiple tools or a single tool. And the reason I ask is because single tools give us the ability to do one pickup wagon or one baler. Multiple tools, you'll have to have two pickup wagons and two balers because it's going to run two different lines. One harvester. Okay, one tool. Got it. Uh, so that works out good. All right, so this is this is not a perfectly square field. So we're going to go with a headland. We're probably going to go with two just to give it a little room to turn around. So because it's got this little bend up here right where the headland number here, you see the white line that comes down? Because it's got that bend in it and it's not a perfectly square field, most of the time running a headland is okay. Uh, and we're going to go smooth headlands. We're going to turn that to sharp though, so that way it turns corners and you don't miss anything. If you go smooth, sometimes it'll just round off and you'll miss a lot um, there. And then we're going to go field center up and down. That's fine, I think. Uh, island bypass, there's no islands, so we're going to go no bypass. Rows per land, uh, we're going to max that out at 24. Basically, rows per land gives you... So it'll do six lanes, and then it'll do six lanes, and then it'll do six lanes, and then six lanes. Here, it'll go 24 lanes, uh, and then start over at 24 lanes, basically. Uh, so it just keeps every... If you do if you do like four lanes, or, or four rows per land, basically it'll go four rows, but it may go one row, skip a row, come back, and then come back and grab this one, and then come over to that next section of four, or six, or eight, whatever you do. I just put it on 24 to make it easy. That's my understanding of it anyway, and I could be wrong. But that's the rundown uh, on the basics of course play here. We're getting it going, and we're just going to generate and make sure it goes where it's supposed to. Boom, right there, yeah. Uh, it looks like we're headed the right direction. We got our headland starting right here. Everything looks good, so we're going to go to course play uh, in just a second. After we look at this, we're just going to visualize everything. The green gives you all the dots. Uh, the... Uh, grayed out eye gives you none the yellow gives you just the start and the end and the blue gives you just the line that you're on so uh, in case you need that at all now if you did do two just so you know uh, there would be another um, another option here for uh, number tool so it would it'd be the number which whichever implement you're using and you would be able to set uh, left left one left two uh, it'd be L1, L2, I think, or R1, R2, or C for center, uh, and you could you could do you could do up to 12, 15. I don't know how many you can do. I've never tried, but uh, I haven't tried to max it out. I know in the old course plays I did six, I did seven, and I did nine, I think, at the most, uh, just trying it out. But either way, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go back into the menu, and we're gonna save course active, and then we're gonna call this um, big. Uh, let's call it. 13.5 harvest harvest slash pickup because you'll use this for your pickup wagon as well so it's harvest slash pickup right there uh, and that should be in field uh, in, in uh, field uh, 50 all right now we're gonna go down to field 51 which is here and we'll go ahead and get this working on field 51. Spiderhead, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Chicken Chow, what's up? Hope you're doing well today. Good to see you. Uh, and we'll scope. We'll kind of scope out the uh, the size of this field. So it's square, and we may want to start on this side, and we can just run back and forth. Uh, no headlands needed, probably. I don't think anyway. Yeah, it's just a rectangle field, so we'll do that. I think that'll work out well. But yeah, we'll set this and go ahead and let this thing start working because these fills need to be harvested. Uh, you'll just want to make sure that your straw swath is on if you want straw swath. So I leave it on on everything because I pick up straw for pretty much whatever I'm doing. It feels like a waste of money not to. And what we're going to do is we're going to start this one right here. So it, basically when you stop on that field, you should be able to turn and come right down to this corner right here uh, and just hit go again. Now, I, I haven't done this yet, but in course play five and course play six, there was ways 
if you had the same crop on the field, there was ways that you could um, have a route go, once it finishes this, the next step would be to come over here and start this field. And you could put those in folders, but here it doesn't seem like it works that way. So uh, I have to figure that out. I haven't figured that one out yet, and I'm, I'm not even going to try to lie to you about it. I have no idea how that works in this one. We're going to do that, and then we're going to go field position, boom, right there too. Uh, and then we're going to generate course. And we're going to do the same thing, except without the headlands this time. We're going to go up, down. Uh, maybe we go lands and try that one and generate. See if it'll go this way. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, and that's pretty... No, that didn't do right at all. Let's go up, down. Uh, generate. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Up, down. That way it starts it here where we're sitting. Um, I think that's good. Uh, just add it to the end in six. I don't know now. Yeah, me either, Bob. That's what I'm saying. Like, used to, you could set... So if I if I wanted to, I could set the harvester to drive from wherever it sits, right? Over to this field, field 50, start working. Once it gets done, immediately drive down to this field, start working if it's the same crop. Uh, or if you just have it empty um, at a certain percentage, it would, you know, it would go empty itself. Or you have a truck emptying it out, whatever. Um, but yeah, so that works. That's what we want. We're going to start right there, and then we're going to end down here on this side somewhere. So we're going to do this and make sure that it's right. We're going to view all. That looks pretty good. So it's going to do like a down and back here first, and then it's going to start going across. That works fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit go on this one, and then we'll go in and save it as it goes here. So we're going to go uh, create new folder, field 051. Okay, and then we're going to save course. Um, let me do that again. Yeah, there we go. Make sure I'm on field 51 here. You see this one's got 13.5 harvest pickup. Um, oh, it did an underscore instead of a slash. That's weird. Okay, save course, field 51. Active, and we're going to go 13.5 harvest slash pickup. There we go. Okay. All right. So that saved it there. That saved it there. Uh, should be good to go. So this will do your harvest. Hey, 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 sir. Sir. Stop for a minute. You're not dropping straw swat for some reason. Hang on. Uh, let's see. Expert mode. Deactivated straw. There's a there's a setting for this. I forgot about it. Uh, stop harvesting while it's raining. Yes. Activated. We want that on for sure. Uh, broken threshold. 100%. Driver will be released. If vehicle implement is more broken, 100% is off. Okay, yeah, we'll leave it off. Fill threshold, that's fine too. Automatic repair, I guess that's fine. Uh, course play driver wages, we're going to drop those down to 50%. And then we go over here. So this should activate it for everything, not just this factor. I mean, this harvester, hopefully. Uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the hope anyway. I don't remember if that's the case or not. Tool offset zero, vertical offset empty. Uh, stop all unloading. Combine self unload. So, do you guys want this on? Because if you set something over near the field for it to unload into uh, a trailer, not an overloader, if you set a trailer over here, it'll come unload itself. Do you want that on, or do you think it matters? Like, there should be enough room in the in the tra tractor to do the whole thing, right? I mean, in the harvester, straw swath activated. Enables and disables straw swath only disables in headlands, or only disables in headlands. Yeah, we want that on. Uh, headlands disabled. Activated. Why isn't it why isn't it doing a straw swat? That's weird. Oh, it's canola. That's why it's not. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Sorry, sir. You're good. You're good. Take off again. It's canola. No, it's soybeans. Sorry. Yeah, my fault. Soybeans. Yeah. So, yep. Panda, I found it. Absolutely. Thank you. What's up, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Uh, switch. Switch. Raise lower header. Yeah, it's soybeans, yeah. Switch, raise, and lower header. What does that mean? Uh, uh, harvested pretty quick. The speed of the harvester. They will, but do you want a trailer over here for it to unload into, or do you think it matters? Okay, so all that's good. Do you want, do you want the combine self-unload on or no? Raise late, lower early. Is that under this? Raise tool. Oh, raise tool late, lower tool early. Okay, there we go. Yeah, my bad. I always forget that one. 
So basically what this does for anybody that may be watching later and you don't know, uh, when it gets to the end of the field, instead of raising the tool early, like you had a headland, and then lowering the tool late, it'll it'll raise the tool late, so you'll go off the field and then raise the tool and then lower the tool before it hits the field again. No self-unload. Okay, got it. All right, sweet. Yeah, see right here, it went all the way to the edge and then raised the tool. And we're going to watch and see if it'll do this on the back end here, lower the header, follow. and then go back. Hopefully it will. Craig, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome. Yeah, hopefully he'll back up. And then he'll lower the tool and then start moving instead of starting moving and then lowering the lowering the head. That's that's the goal for this this section here anyway. See, lowering the tool first and then going. There we go. All right, so we're good. Perfect. Uh, let's go grab the other harvester now, and I think we're good to start. Um, yeah, we'll have to come down to this field over here. So we'll jump over and grab that harvester in a minute. Uh, we'll get this other harvester going up here, but I'm going to grab the big M real quick because this grass is ready to cut, it looks like. It looks like it's fully ready to cut, too. So this works the same way with the mower. We'll set up a course. And then... Uh, we'll start it right here, and we won't do headlands. We'll just go straight up and down. We'll set up a course that'll be big M slash pickup wagon. Or bail, whatever. Uh, it's the same thing. You just load the same course for whatever you're doing because it's going to drop that swath right in the middle. We're going to go no course. Zoom in so we can get our pinpoint here. We go target position right there. Build position right there. And then we're going to generate. We're going to go no headlands. Number of tools one. Up and down is fine. And then always do this, like I said. No bypass because there's no island. We're going to generate. Hopefully we get up and down lines here. And it starts right there. Sweet. That's what we wanted. All right, we're going to go over here and we're going to create a build 57. We're going to create a folder. Create a new folder. Field 057. Okay. And we're going to come down to that folder and we're going to save course. Active. And we're going to say big M. I'm trying to type with one hand. Uh, slash pickup. There we go. Big M slash pickup. So there you go. You don't need to change it to up down if you do uh, 24. So just a minute ago. Um, oh, no, that's true. When I switched it to lands, it did it. Maybe. Yeah, that's probably true. That's probably true, Panda. Uh, I always just switch it out of habit. No matter what I'm doing, honestly. So, But okay, so you don't need to switch it if you're doing 24. Or if you don't need to do it, if you're doing up, down, you don't need to switch it to 24. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. What's up? What's up, Jim? Jamisk? Jamisk? How's it going? <laughs> he said, hey, Bob said, no, it's straw. <laughs> uh, what's up, Farmer Groot? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's going to save us so much time. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, I use the lands function only for the harvester. Use the lands for the harvester? For me, it always puts me in like the middle of the field. Uh, it's so strange. There we go, though. That's saved. Uh, and this grass does need to be mowed, so if we want to look at the, the whole course here, um, you can see that it's it's running correctly, so we're just going to hit uh, go. Oh, see right there? It started, it started late. It is dropping in the middle, though. Let's make sure... Raise tool early, lower tool late. We're going to swap those around. So this is for each tool? Well, that seems silly. Yeah, that seems silly right there. I guess that is for each individual. You know, vehicle settings for the... Yeah, so we have to switch that on every one of these. The raise and lower. Okay, got it. All right. Uh, but either way, there you go. And again, if you wanted to set up two, you just tell it two tools, and then you'll come here. There'll be an extra setting, and you'll tell it left, right. If you set up three, it'll be left, center, right. Um, five, it'd be left two left one center r1 r2 i mean you get the gist of it uh i may set one up in a minute but there you go that's the that's the that's the big m going uh let's take this other colossus harvester here and we'll go up to field 100 because it's right here nearby we might as well you always do one or two headlands i don't if the fields are square just to cut down on the amount of circular time right um but like over here this field's probably going to run this way. 
And there's trees over here, and I don't know if there's enough room for it or not. They may turn around. But I don't know if they will. So I might, I might do a headland on this one. If there's anything close by, I'll usually do headlands. But, like, that field over there was big and open. There's no need to. This field right here, big, open, you know. I just, I, d I don't see it as, as particularly useful if the field's got plenty of room around it. And there's probably plenty of room here, too. Okay, this is field 100. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If, if, if it's anywhere close to something, like if, if those trees were, were just past the pipe here, they would definitely be headland set on this field for sure. Is that for each individual tool or type of tool, like the big M's? Yes. Yeah. Lower, pick up, pick up, um, uh, pick up late, lower, early. So when we hook a loading wagon up here in a minute, we'll have to do the same thing. Go to the load, loading wagon, tell it that. Once you set it, though, it should be there for every tool. Now you have to every map. Yeah, exactly, Bob. Yeah. Yep. The straw swath should be on on every one of these. Should be on on every one of them. And I think this is uh, this is oats up here. Yeah. Um, so we'll go to no course, and then we'll go target position, just like we did the last one. Boom, fill position. Boom. There we go. Uh, it's not a target. It's not a field. Fill position. There we go. Open course generator. No, no up down. That's fine. Uh, I'm not going to change that, and we'll just. We'll, we'll confirm. Yeah, so op uh, up and down doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, good call, Panda. That's an extra click I don't have to make, so that's good. All right, number of tools, one. That's all good. Uh, and then we're going to go over here to course, and we're going to go create a new folder. Field 0, 100. I know that doesn't make sense, but it helps keep everything in order. Oh, no, it didn't either. Why is that? Why is that here now? Shouldn't it be here? No, because it's still a one. Well, how did how did I do that before? To keep them to keep them in line here. Celtic Moon, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. I know you're on the server somewhere. So rename up to field one hundred. Uh, how do I? Is it change mode? Rename entry. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so once you get to 100, you leave it off. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. Got it, got it. I was like, how come that's not working? Uh, change mode, we're going to go save course. Active, and we're going to call this the same thing, 13.5 harvest. Flash uh, pickup. Okay, boom. Harvest slash pickup. Should be big M pickup. Harvest pickup, harvest pickup. Okay. Uh, that should be it. We'll just double check. Looks good. Uh, let's go double check our settings here. We're going to do this. There we go. Uh, straw swath should be activated by default. There we go. Off we go. All right, now there should be a pickup wagon over here somewhere. Let's go see if we can find one. Yep, that is one right there. Big old balloon tires, I love them. Oh, we're not hooked up to it. Gotta hook up to it first. There we go. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and pick up straw first so we can just show you that. Uh, I don't know if we're doing pickup or bales, but we'll probably, I'm guessing we're doing pickup, right? That field must be really stinking long right there. You don't play without course play? I do, a lot, um, a lot. 01 is small, 05, yeah, that's true, Bob. It's it's my Mississippi maths, okay? It's my Mississippi maths. All right, we're just gonna back up right here. Okay, and we should just be able to go to this. We don't even have to go to co load course or anything anymore. Field 100, harvest pickup. Um, load course active, and this should be it. 
It should be loaded. Boom. There we go. Uh, now, something you can do to save yourself some grief and running over each other is you can take your pickup wagon and you can run the cruise down to like 15 if you got a harvester that does 43. If your harvester does 6, run your pickup wagon at 5 just to keep it from running over each other. Uh, and also, once it gets within a certain distance, it'll stop and wait on the, the first implement to move before it starts going again. So, shouldn't be any issues. We're not going to go nearest. We're going to go first waypoint. And there we go. Just to keep it from running over each other um, and the turning and all that, we'll keep it We'll keep it way below what the other one's doing. So, 18 is probably fine. It's only going at 14 anyway. So, it depends on, it depends on how fast your implement can work, I guess, is the main thing. So... Bells are slower and unnecessary. Gotcha. Okay, just pick up. All right, so we got another pickup wagon over here. We'll jump over to that one. But you can see, like, you can set up one course for two different two different things. Is there a tractor sitting over here I can use for this other pickup wagon? I'm probably just still one of these, right? There was another pickup wagon over there, right? I think there was. I think so. What's up, games all day? How's it going? Welcome. A little save action there. All right, so we'll do the same thing with the grass. We'll come over here. We'll grab this. We'll go set up the grass. Go there, go 57, big M pickup, load, active. And that should tell us where to start. And we got it set to first waypoint. Now, the only reason you would want it not set to first waypoint, I gotta find my, find my mouse again, there we go, um, is if you, um, if you've started going and you have to stop and empty it, you would want that set to nearest waypoint. If you're in the middle of the field or you're going back to a point that you you had stopped on come on let go my mouse is somewhere off screen it feels like there we go <laughs> i don't know what was going on there there we go though start and go whoa ten thousand dollars in vehicle running costs. that thing needed to be repaired a long time ago uh it's not going though why isn't it going is it because that one's in the way too far back I was too far forward no it's still not going why not what are you doing oh there it goes it was see what I was saying about it waiting I didn't realize it was that close though like that's a really long field for that thing to be waiting but that's good at least it's staying way back out of the way you know that's good I like it good to see all right uh that is this part we can go check on uh, this field down here. Look at that. Look how much work is happening right now, right? This is great. This is fantastic. This is what you want out of course play. You want to you manage it. You don't want to do it, right? Course play is about management. Uh, this is working out really, really well, though. We'll hop over here and, and just check on everybody. Yep, see, almost full here. So you're going to spend a lot of time running back and forth with these. Uh, but at least once you dump it, you can just jump back over. And these are these are big, too. These are 200,000 leaders uh, all these things this is only at 13 percent that's good uh let's see how the grass is doing already already at 23,000. okay how's the soybeans doing only at 31 percent right now that's really good all right sweet let's hop over here and grab another harvester and we'll head down to field 61 67 what's in field 65 right now Wait on it to change. It's a big map. It takes a second. There we go. That's grass. Okay, so we're going oats on field 67 first. Yeah, oats on 67 first. Let's go. Don't forget to raise and lower. Yeah, don't forget to raise. Oh, I forgot to change it on that one, didn't I? I bet I did. I forget you got to do that on every single one of these. Uh, Yep, swap those. There we go. Okay. There we go. Raise tool late, lower, early. 
Yeah, I forgot you gotta change them to every single one of these. Uh, I hate that there's not a global setting for that, but I mean, I guess it gives you plenty of... Um... Plenty of room to... Adjust however needed, right? So that's good. What's up, J-Rock? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. You gonna change the title of the stream? No, I changed the title of the stream. Yeah, it's setting up course play. It it shouldn't. No, on mine it on mine it says setting up course play for harvest and collecting Dairyland 4X map. Even the notification to go live is Dairyland 4X. Yeah, I was about to say. Um, even the notification that went out in Discord says it. I say, like, what are you doing wrong there, J-Rock? <laughs> After you get them set, do we have to change it? Uh, no, no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't at all. It does say that in Discord, right? Yeah, no, it says it in Discord too. Yeah, no, once it's changed, you're good. So me, me setting them here, you should be fine. All right, this field, let's look and see how close, we we're pretty close to the edge of the map here. Let's set headlands for this one. Uh, and we'll do sharp turns. We're gonna start it right here on this end, I think. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do headlands. Let's start it going that way. We'll see if it makes us go that way. It should. If I set the direction in the field, the field right, it should. Going pretty good, buddy. Going pretty good. Just setting up some of these course play courses. Very basic, very basic setup stuff. Uh, and then refreshing my memory too on some of this because I've forgotten about a lot of it, so. Okay, we'll just go here. And it may miss some of this edge because it doesn't look as square as some of the other ones. Uh, so let's go target position right there. Build position, same place. Open generator, headlands. Let's do two, and then we'll go sharp, and then we'll go up, down. We'll leave that. No bypass. Create. Starts us right there. Perfect. Then gives us the up, down. Sweet. That's all we need. So we'll come down here, and we'll go like this. We'll swap those. And then everything else should be good. Straw is activated. Make sure the course looks right. It does. There's our, he there's our headland. And then our up and down runs. Started at first waypoint. And off we go. And it looks like it's actually going to keep that carve out of the field there where it's a little off. I thought it might square up on the end there, but it didn't. Very basic that I still ain't got yet. Well, I mean, we're going to do this enough today, Bob. You should be, you should be able to set this up. 67. So we'll go here. We'll go to the course. We'll go create a new folder, field 067, okay. Then we'll go to there and we'll go to save course, active. We'll go 13.5 harvester. Uh, what is that? What did I type? Harvester slash uh, pickup. Type in one hand here, just give me a second. Harvester slash pickup, there we go. And that's it. It's ready to go. So as soon as you get ready to do pickup on this field, do the same thing. You'll just load that course and off you go. Uh, the problem with running this many at one time is you're going to have a lot to keep up with. Field 70. What's in field 70? Is that grass? That's grass in field 70. Do we have a big M over here? If we do, I'll go ahead and set one for this one. Uh, field 65. We only have one big M. There's something running over here. Who's leaving tractors running? We're running out of fuel like that. Also wear and tear on it too. Aha, there's a big M. Found it. All right. Yeah, you should be able to set one of these up no problem after the end of this. And then much of much of your work really is just going to be emptying stuff and then taking it back. 
Now, once you take it back, we should I should point this out uh, better. Uh, if you've got a pickup wagon that's full, like this one, right, needs to be emptied. When you come back, make sure you change that to nearest waypoint and then start right here where you left off. Make sure to do that because it's going to stop. And once it stops and you come back, tell it nearest waypoint or to go back to that first waypoint and run the whole thing over again until it gets back to here. Lots of dirty equipment, yeah. Where does this go? Which ones does this go in? There's too many of these. I don't know which ones this goes in. The brown one or the red ones? Red. Which one? There's two of them. Left or right? There's two red barns. To my right. Okay. Left. Okay. All right. Go. There's another pickup wagon right here. That's good. We may need it in a minute. And if you want to, uh, if you're if there's multiple people on and you're both emptying stuff out while one's empty and you could take another one, load that course and go get it started. That way you're never you don't have any downtime. Or while this is emptying out, you could grab it and run it over there and get it started. Just a thought, but that, I mean that requires quite a bit of running back and forth, probably. All right, we're switched to nearest waypoint now because we have started in the field. And we want this to start at the nearest waypoint to where we put it. And we're going to put it back on this line. But it'll be some oh, kind of on the line anyway. But it'll be semi-close to where it left off. And then we'll see it. Um, give me my, my mouse. There we go. A little finicky on my end. There we go. And we'll start that. It needs to be unloaded. So that'd be this one. Right, somebody's already in there. That's good. Just take it, flip it to the nearest waypoint, and then take it and empty it, and then drive it back to where it left off and hit start again. It should go. All right, where are we at? We're going to field 65, I believe. With the big M, where'd the big M go? Where did I do with the big M? Oh, there it is. It's sitting down here. I forgot I moved it. All right. Go ahead and unfold that. I'm going to switch that to first waypoint because that's where we're going to want to start. It's the first waypoint here. And this one will probably do a couple of headlands, do like three or four. Um, and then we'll let it go. Okay, no course. We're going to go here. We're going to go target position. I'm going to try to start it right there. Boom. Boom, and then open course load. We're gonna go three headlands, and we're gonna go sharp, because once it gets to these corners, we're gonna want it to turn sharp. Up, down is fine, that's fine. No bypass, because there's no island. And create, we'll see what it does. Sometimes it gets really weird on some of these, but that did fine. All right, cool. We'll go here, and we'll go, I forgot what field this was. Field 68, no, 65. It's 68 and 65. We'll just call it filled uh, 65, though. We'll go there. We'll go create folder. Build 065. Okay. Save course. Active. We'll go big M. Flash pickup. There we go. 65. Done. Go. Oh, you know what? We forgot to do this, though. Always forget to do this. See, see how it skipped all that right there? It's because it lowered late. That's the reason you want to lower early, raise late. So. Now, do I change it back when I put it back? No. As long as you're using it, unless you're starting another field, leave it on nearest waypoint because you're going to have to empty it more than once. When, when you start a brand new field, put it on nearest, uh, first waypoint to start with, and then after that, put it on nearest. 
But as long as you're working the same field, leave it on nearest waypoint, or you have to change it back and, back and forth every time you go empty it out. Because you're going to have to empty it more than once anyway. All right, that one's going. That one's going. Uh, what's on this field here? Grass is on that one, so we'll go to field 71 next, I think. Let's go to 77 next. It doesn't really matter what order we do these in. 77 is next. We'll go ahead and get the big field going. It doesn't really matter which one we go to. Uh, but if we get that big field going, that'll be a big help, I think. Then again, a lot of your time is going to be running around emptying stuff out, basically. Yeah, let's go and get the big field going. There's a, there's a, that's a very large area there. All right, which way is it bigger? It's pretty square. We could probably just start at this first corner right here. Yeah, we'll just start at this first corner. Boom, hold that up, unfold the harvester. Now, theoretically, I could just sit in one spot and set all of these up, but I'm actually, I mean, we're actually doing the work as we're going here. So let's go first waypoint, no course, target position, again, right there. Target field, boom, okay. We're not going to do any headlands. Actually, let's do one. Let's do one headland just to keep it um, from running into the tree line down there. We'll do sharp, and then we'll do no bypass, and we'll generate. See what happens. Starts just right here. Ends just right here. That's really good, actually. Oh, it's running this way, though. Hey, either way is fine. Either way is fine. At least that's starting where we want it to. All right, and then we're going to go field uh, 77. So create a new folder. Field 077. Create. Select it, save course, active, 13.5, R, R, Arvister, slash, pickup. And you can do whatever you want to if you're using a baler, harvest slash bale, whatever. Um, if you're doing grass and you want to windrow it or rake it or whatever else, uh, so windrowing, you could set up the same line, but it would be beneficial to set up a separate one for that. And then set up your baler or pickup wagon off of your windrow, not off of your harvester or mower, right? Um, so if you're doing it, if you're doing a windrow, right, and you're raking it all up, whatever it reaches, then you set your baler or harvester or your baler or pickup wagon off of that, not off of your harvester or mower. Just whatever, whatever centers things up, set your pickup and baler off of that one. So we're not doing any of that. So we're picking up straight off of the harvester and the mower. So we don't need to set those extras. If that makes sense. Just for anybody that may be doing that later. So, uh, there we go. First waypoint and go. Crap. I forgot to do it again. Didn't I? Did. Every time. Every time. Always forget. Uh, it should pick that up in the long run, though, because it does a whole headland here. So, let's see what the line looks like. I it's going to go all the way around to there and then go somewhere else, but that's okay. All right, cool. Uh, that is that. Let's go see if there's a pickup wagon up here we can use. There is. There's one attached already. Or one set in here already, anyway. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get started on, uh, straw on this side. It looks like there's already a pickup wagon there, so that's good. And that pickup wagon can be started. If not, it's going to be in the way of the mower when it comes back around. Maybe not. It may not be. You can go ahead and start that pickup wagon, though, whenever. Just go to that field number, load that course, first waypoint, and you're good. No, you can start it, Celtic Moon. You can start it. AI does one row and tether. Well, then your mower and uh, pickup wagon, or your baler and pickup wagon won't pick it up then. Keep that in mind. That's... That's what I'm saying. If you're going to use course play, you have to use course play for all of it, or it may not line up correctly. So keep that in mind. 
Build 77, load, active. Okay, boom. Well, if the wind rower is using the same as the harvester though, Bob, it's just gonna drive down the same exact path, right? Your wind rower may be wide enough to pick up two straw swaths instead of one. So if, you're, if your wind rower is using the same one, it's gonna be driving center down this same path right here. You're not gonna be doing any good. So you wanna set up a totally different one you're gonna, you're gonna set up a totally different one for your wind row because it, your wind row might be wide enough to pick up two straw swaths. See what I'm saying? So your harvester and wind row using the same, same like if I had the wind row behind this, behind this uh, tractor right now, I'd be driving down this same pathway, right? And then there'd be a straw swath over there I'm not getting to. So ideally you'd wanna customize it so that it picks up two rows, it means you would have to customize the width of it to pick up two rows of straw. No, no, don't leave it for me. Don't leave it for me. Do it. Do it. Because this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be using course play to run all this stuff. So, learn it. Do it. All you got to do is go to this little, this little thing right here, find the field number, and then load that. That's all you got to do. And then open this and hit first waypoint. And you're good. That's all you got to do. Easy peasy. We'll fire the AIs. Yeah, so again, that's that's kind of the reason you want to do that is is because it'll it'll stay centered. Um, now, if you want me to set up wind rows, I can for the grass. Or you can just run it right behind the mower like this one's doing. So like instead of doing a wind row here, we're just running right behind the mower. Now, if you do tethers, Right, set up a tether and then set up a wind row and then set up your pick wagon, pickup wagon. I can do that for these fields too if you want. It doesn't matter to me. I'll do it. I don't mind. All right, lots of stuff needs emptying. Looks like that one's going. That's good. Uh, this guy needs to be emptied. This one's going. That one's going, that one's going. All right, do we have another pickup wagon up here? Oh, no, you've already got it for that grass field. Okay, cool. Is there another harvester up here? It's just the beet harvester, I think. Uh, I guess we could skip up here now, grab one of these, and get started on one of these fields. Eventually, we'll have them all done. It's going to take a while, but we'll have them all done at some point. How close is that first one we started? Oh, it needs to be emptied out. Okay. Let's see, let me jump up here and see if I can find a, find a trailer. Go empty it out in. Have we been finding the plushie collectibles? I haven't seen any, so I'm assuming somebody's been picking them up. Do we have just a big trailer to empty crops into? Or no? Up here for these. Looks like it's just seed. That's a pickup wagon itself there. It needs to be repaired. I don't see a trailer for crops anywhere. Is there a trailer for crops that I'm missing? Just take one getting TMR. I don't, I mean, it's full though. It's got TMR in it. The only reason we should use a tether and windrows is to make faster to make TMR. Well, yeah, because you're putting, um, you have the folders not to us. What do you mean? No, you should be able to see the folders. They're right under the steering wheel. You have to be in a vehicle, though. If you're not in a vehicle, you won't see the folders. So jump in a vehicle, open the folder. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see, I see, okay. They're attached for the TMR. I thought it was just the TMR trailer behind it there. Yeah, yeah, get in a vehicle, so. Hey, what's up, Ian? How's it going? What? What's that? I'm stealing these two small ones. It's 
stealing those two. Ian, I hope everything's going well with you. It is for me. You were in a vehicle? Oh, Celtic left the server. Uh, so if you're in a, yeah, if you're in a, if you're in a vehicle and you click on that, right there, right under the wheel, you should have folders. You don't see folders? What? Why can nobody else see the folders? Somebody help me out here. Is that an admin tool only? You should be able to see folders. Are they saved locally? I don't think so. Is there a setting for that? For custom fields, distance unit, event help shows course play on the minimap, activated, gamepad, friendly, deactivated, expert mode, deactivated, uh, broken threshold. I don't see anything where it says anything about only, only, um, no, I didn't, I didn't do anything with emote only mode. What? Stupid. Oh, I clicked off by accident. My bad guys. No, it should save it to the server. Well, that's silly. That's very silly. Supposed to stop while I'm loading, sir. You did see the saved ones for GPS. Yeah, you're supposed to. You're supposed to see the course plays. I thought. I know I've done this on multiplayer before, where I saw them. Is there a way to share those? Anybody know? Because I swear I thought that's the way that worked. I swear I thought that's the way that. Worked. Why is it? Why did that stop at a hundred percent anyway? Or at fifty-two percent? Because I know this thing holds 200,000. Why would it stop half full? Doesn't make any sense. This one's still going. Kind of weird. Yeah, why don't, why don't you guys see the folders? That is so strange. Well, that doesn't help then, does it? It's not helpful at all. Yeah, it's not helpful at all. If it's not if if it's not shareable. Huh. Join the amateur autopsy group. Wednesday is open mic night. Mm. Ugh. Feel bad for Mike. Yeah, if it's not shareable, then what's the point of having it on multiplayer? I don't understand. Chavez, what's up, buddy? I mean, I guess if nothing else, you can pull it out of your mods folder. I mean, I can pull it out of my course play folder, probably. But I haven't tried that in a very long time. 
Uh, not with not with FS22 anyway. With the old course play, it was its own folder. This one ties in with the the AI in game though. I don't know if that matters. I mean, if nothing else, I've given you the given you the blueprint to set it up, right? That's gotta that's gotta mean something. I'm just not sure why you wouldn't be able to see them. There's got to be something in the sharing of this here. But there's not. Fuel threshold, broken threshold, stop harvesting when raining. I don't know. I don't know why it's why it would only show up in mine. You had lines by your name and we didn't? What do you mean? Lines by what name? All the people on the farm? Well, I'm logged in as admin. I mean, I don't think that matters. Gabe, log in as admin and see if you can see the lines. Or see if you can see the folders. Is to be unloaded. Let's see if we can find something to unload with. Yeah, log in as admin. See if you can see the line. See if, see if you can see the folders. Hey, do the password still the same? The same password. Sure you do. It's only four, it's only four uh, four letters. There was a whole '80s song about it. I'm pretty sure it was in. Um, a Karate Kid movie. Oh, it's this that needs to be unloaded, not the harvester. That's all right. We'll need that eventually, too. I mean, probably not. I can leave and come back and see if that fixes it. Trying to find you in Discord here so I can send you a message. But since Discord changed it to where it's only the first letter, I gotta look hard here. There we go.
Yeah, I'm just not sure why it would be that. I don't know. Admin must give all players admin for it to work. For for course play? Really? That's silly. Nope, nothing is admin. Okay. So course play only works locally for your folders then. Well, either way, um, I, sh I showed you the blueprint on how to set them up, so I guess you have to set them up. Uh, I don't know. Which one does this go in? It's not this one, is it? It's the red one. There's no red one here, though. Is it down there? It's down there. Yeah. Nothing is admin. That's so strange. So even having admin doesn't doesn't work for course play, which I find really odd. Uh, to be able to share, it sh it should share on the server. Man, I swear, maybe I'm wrong, but I swear we did this before, and everybody's course plays was there. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe those GPS I'm thinking about. Now I know how to use course play. Well, you know how to set up at least the basic stuff anyway. And if you want to set up two harvester and two pickup wagons, you can do that too. So, I mean... At least I gave you the blueprint. We're going to do a few more too. I'm going to do the ones in the north. Or unless you want to try the ones in the north or crystal, go ahead. Again, you're not going to break it. Just make sure you're following those steps. Oh, I like whoever planted the trees for the cows. Give them some shade. But these guys need straw too, don't they? Let's go ahead and just go dump it. At a thousand cows each. They probably require quite a lot of straw, don't they? I don't like the size of these for a thousand cows, though. It just doesn't make any sense. They need to be way bigger. They need to be like half the size of this area or bigger for a thousand cows. That's a lot of cows. I mean, that's a lot of cows. Need to be able to farm the outer land? Oh, yeah, yeah. If you're still working on the trees, then yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, set them up. Set them up. Yeah, J-Rock. I mean, you mentioned it, and I thought about it. I was like, yeah, you're right, man. These should be huge. Like, that should be the trade-off for having a 1,000 cows is taking up most of your land, you know? In my opinion, anyway. Unless you have it written down to follow each step. So, we can walk through it on the next one I do, which will be in just a minute. I'm going to jump up to the northeast, northwest. I'm going to jump up to the northwest and grab one. And just jot down shorthand. You know what I mean? Like, because it, it's not that many steps, but it is a few. So, early stream? Yeah, Therian, on Friday I've been doing, um, I've been starting around noon central time on Twitch, and then on uh, Friday nights, me and Bone stream over on the YouTube channel. But yeah, write down some shorthand uh, notes for you to follow. I think that would be, I think that'd be handy, yeah? Because it is, it is a few. Um, and, and muscle memory after a while will kind of take over. And I know, I know if you have short-term memory problems, you don't think it will, and it may not. But after doing it a hundred times, you know, it may come back to you. But yeah, on the next one, we can go slower, for sure. Yep, on Fridays, I've been doing this for a while, too. On Fridays, uh, which the last few Fridays, of course, I've had shows and stuff, so I haven't been here, but... Um, uh, Fridays, we've been doing... Um, yeah, for quite a while, really. Uh, I switched everything over to Twitch. And... Uh, who needs to be unloaded now? There's another one needs to be unloaded somewhere. This one. Uh, Fridays I switched over to... I switched every, all my farm sim to just Twitch. And then my farm reduced YouTube channel. I move everything over to it. But I've been doing... Um, the community server during the day on Fridays. Just for people that couldn't make it in the afternoons or whatever, I switched my YouTube and my Twitch streams. I 
cannot believe we have this many cows. This is ridiculous. Are there cows in any of these yet? Doesn't look like it. Just the one, okay. Have you got straw? I got straw. Like, does any, any of these need straw right this second, or are we just putting it in there? Looks like we're just filling it up to start with, okay. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and dump it here then. How many moo moos? I have no idea, J Rock. Let's go see. Uh, so 500, 500, 500, 500, 500. Uh, let's see, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, uh, 35, 4. Uh, looks like we're over 4. So 120, 6,400 or so. That's a lot. That's a lot of cows. That's a lot of cows. Just put it in here to fill them up for now. Got it. Okay. Yeah, so far, we're shooting for 32,000, I think, was the the end goal. Originally, it was only 10, and then we found these pins that hold 1,000. It's like, hey, let's go for 32,000 cows. Getting pins ready first. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, and by the time you get all of these fields set up, Crystal, you'll probably you'll probably remember, you know, the the basics, this, this, and this. And then when you get started, you'll do what I do and go, crap, I forgot to set this. You know, like the pick up early, late thing, swapping those. Um, there, there's a lot to it, but once you do it a few times, I think it'll be okay. All right, so all these guys are good. Everything's moving again. That's awesome. Okay. All right, let's hop up here and grab another harvester. We'll go to field uh, 91. Is that grass? That's grass. Okay, let's go to field uh, 88 to start with. Uh, yeah, 88. Or we could do 89. Um, so... 87 is there, 86, yeah, we could do 89 next. Let's do 88 first. That's the easy one. I forgot to switch. Yeah, all right, so here we, we'll do we'll do a slow walkthrough. If anybody following along, instead of having to pause the video, go back and forth, I'll just walk through it slowly in each step and try to be as concise as possible uh, so there's no backtracking and there's no double talking and all that kind of stuff, so... What are the plans for the weekend? Probably harvesting soybeans on uh, the FarmSim Network tomorrow. Uh, and then laying around the house Sunday doing nothing, probably. Uh, working on my mower at some point. That's got to be done. Okay, so the first thing is you want to find you a good spot in the field. And since this field runs this way, and there's no need for a headland, we're not going to do a headland. But we're going to try to start it so that it runs with the field. Uh, if it's square, it doesn't really matter. If it's rectangle, I like to go the long way. That way it's not you're not spending more time turning around than you need to. All right, so let's turn around, get hooked up. Okay. So I would say first step, just so you don't forget to do it, is make sure you hit first uh, near first waypoint there, the first waypoint, and then click no course. Hang on, here we go. Click no course, and it'll bring you to this page. And I always try to zoom in so I can really pinpoint this. And then we go target position, and then I usually just park wherever I want to start. That way I can just click on it. Boom. Build position. I'll put it in the same spot. That way it knows the field, but it knows to start right here. Hopefully that's the idea. So target position, field position. Open course. And you can do first waypoint right here. Start at first waypoint. So you can work your way down. Target position, field position, first waypoint. Open close generator. So we're going to open the course generator. And no headlands on this field. If you want to do headlands, set it to whatever headlands you want. If you want to do multiple tools, 
You set that here too, but we're skipping those for this field. Up and down, leave it there. And always just turn this off, the island bypass mode, because you don't need it. And then generate field work course. And you see the lines are good. You can barely see it, but the little starting arrow is underneath this, and it's right there where I'm sitting. That's what we want. Okay. Then we're going to back out. We're going to double check our field number. It's field 88. We're going to click on the little... You have to be in the vehicle to see this, but you should be in the vehicle by now anyway. Uh, you're going to click on the little uh, course play map looking thing. You're going to create your folder, and I'm going to call mine field 088. Okay, we're going to click on that folder. Save course, and then name your course. I just name it something practical, 13.5 harvester slash pickup. Okay, and that's it. It's saved. You see all mine are saved in here now. So field 88, and we just back out of that. Look at the whole course. Don't forget to change your raise and lower. You want to swap those. You want to raise late, lower early. And then straw swash should be activated by default. That should be it. There you go. If that was still too much, I can redo it. Because we got another one to go anyway. Let's see, is there... There should be a pickup wagon over here with all this too, right? Yeah, there's one. I see you over here. So to load the course, pretty easy to do. get over here we'll walk through it trying to get it to find the a mouse won't, it won't detach for some reason maybe it's set here I don't know No, it just won't do it for some reason. There we go. First waypoint. Okay. First waypoint. And remember, you want to start behind your first waypoint, not in front of it if you got it set on first. Mine did that while ago for some reason. I don't know what it was doing. So we want to go here and swap those first. And those may, those may stay, because that's just the settings. They may stay. You may not have to change those. But if, but if it's not there, just double check, raise and lower tool, raise late, lower early. And then we go find our field, and we're working on field 88. So we do that. Click the course you want to load, and then load course, and then activate. And that's it. And then hit go. It's pretty easy. We got all mods but one, the Wilson trailer. Uh, you should just be able to download it, right? The Wilson trailer should be should be from ModHub. Should be able to anyway. Okay, and that's it. If you have any questions, let me know because we're about to go through this again. And just always remember to switch back to nearest waypoint. If you, if you take the tool off the field and it needs to go back to that field, make sure you put it on nearest waypoint or it'll start at the first waypoint again. And this is a really odd shaped field here, so we may do like two headlands and then up and down or something, so. It was the J-Rock Wilson trailer. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll have to grab that from the mods folder. It was the one J-Rock made for the 100 cows. Thank you, J-Rock, for that, by the way. I guess it's working, because nobody's complained, so. Uh, yeah. Alright, what did I miss up here? 
Um, I know what Deuce is not going to do this weekend is make bread. I've been trying to get him to make bread for almost two years. That's true, yeah. Making your own bread is tasty. Way better, though. Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, it, uh, making your own bread tastes way better. It does. It does. I used to get fresh bread from the Amish people, and it was great. Uh, great people. They made great stuff. Uh, I know not everybody understands their way of life. I definitely don't, but uh, I appreciate it. So, um, yeah. Yeah, fresh bread is fantastic. It doesn't last long, but it doesn't need to. So, that's a new follower. Perseus, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome. So, Crystal, how you doing? Are we good? Do I need to walk through it again slowly? Because I can't. I don't mind. That's that's the point of today is is for me too. Because once I jump on here, I can set all these going. If nobody's working on stuff or if it needs to be done, I can just set them going and uh, go work on other stuff too. You can set these up for planning. You can set these up for everything. So one more time. Okay. All right. So where did you get to on your steps? Or what did I confuse you with? I guess. <laughs> so I guess the first thing really is just click and then hit no course. You don't even have to worry about any of this right now. Just click and hit no course. Then we want to find the field we're working on, which is here. Your target position, where you want to start. Your field position, always put it in the same place. That way if there's any confusion, it should find it. And it should outline that field and then start at first waypoint. Okay, so right click, open your course play, hit no course, and it'll bring this up. And then target position, wherever you want to start it. Field position, I'll put it in the same spot. And then first waypoint. Got that, okay. And then open slash close course generator at the bottom. Oh, you're going to get to try your first piece of Wagyu. Oh, man, I've never had actual Wagyu beef. I bet it's so good. We splurged on the Wagyu. Dude, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Sounds fantastic. All right. So open, open and close course generator at the bottom. This should be automatic. It should automatically read whatever width that you're starting with if this is a new course. So that should be fine. We're only doing one tool at a time, so we don't have to worry about that. Just one. Number of headlands. On these weird-shaped fields, I like to go a couple of headlands. Right? So I usually do two, maybe three. It depends, but two is probably fine. And on this one, it may, be, may do something really weird with headlands. We'll have to wait and see. We're going to go sharp on the headlands. That way it catches the corners. It actually turns the corner like you, like you would. Instead of just rounding it off, it'll turn it. So go sharp. Leave it on up and down. And then you can take that island bypass and just put it to nobody. There's no islands. So if there was like a, a water tower, electrical tower, or something in the middle of this, you would you would have it do something. But there's no islands, so just go no bypass. It probably doesn't matter, but I just always put it on none. And then generate field course. So it should be the one with the enter button there. And it should generate, and we'll see what it does. Sometimes they do really weird stuff where they don't generate at all. I think it's having trouble generating the course because of the headlands. Yeah, it's not wanting to do it. And I don't know if it's because we've got too many. I don't think so. Let's take the headlands off and try it. We'll see what happens. Oh, what happened here? Oh, why are we on... Hang on, why are we on the big M? Oh, it set this one for some reason. Okay, well that's... It didn't show it to me. That's weird. It switched to the big M for some reason. Um, okay. Well, either way, now we find the field we're on. And we're on field 89. It's the closest thing to it. So field 89. Open your menu and go over to the left side and you find the one that looks like the map. 
with course play and then create new folder and then name it whatever you want. I name mine like this, field 089. Oh, well that's that's probably why. My internet dropped out? No, it didn't? Okay, everything's still running, it looks like. That's so weird, my chat just had to reconnect for some reason. Build 89, boom. And then we go save course, active course. And then you name it, whatever you wanna name it. Flash pickup, okay, boom, there we go. And then we start. No, we don't. Swap the raise tool to late and the lower tool to early. There we go, now we start. And you can double check to make sure you get straw swath, but it should be on. So. After create folder, what's next? Uh, so save your course. So when you create new folder, Right, it'll bring that up, click on the folder, and then hit save course. It'll pop up a menu, and then you name your course, and these are how I name my harvesters. So save course, when you hit save course, name, uh, or save course, it'll pop up over here, active, and you save your active course you're working on, so you hit that, and then it'll pop up a menu. And that's it, come back, hit, hit the little start button right there, the go button. Make sure you're on first waypoint. Make sure your raise and lowers on, you know, swap to whatever. But you probably already got those, and that should be it. That should be all there is to it. Hopefully. Hopefully, anyway. Should be all there is to it. Uh, if I missed a step in there, my apologies, but I think I got it all. And then to load the same course, we'll walk through that one more time, too. Look at all this stuff that needs to be unloaded. Isn't that great? So much stuff happening at the same time. Now once, like if you've got a harvester running, once they've been sitting there for so long, you may have to jump in them and restart them. Make sure to, make sure to switch that to nearest waypoint when you restart stuff. If not, it'll go all the way back to the first waypoint. So, just try to, try to write that down too. Uh, if course play is stopped in the middle of work, switch to, switch to nearest waypoint. Okay, go here, and we'll open, we don't have to do anything else here, but open this, find our field, select the course, load course, activate. And then hit go. I always like to leave all my lines on just to make sure it's right, but I got this list of stuff that needs to be unloaded in my way right now. And there we go. And we're moving. One more time, from which part? Because do the whole thing, I'm going to jump into something new. Um, and I can just walk through it without being on a field. You switched off the menu I have, but you don't know how to switch it on again? I'm just going to move mine over here so it's not right in the middle of the screen. that down here too there's already stuff on this side we'll put those over there I just realized I got my my bar down there we'll bring it up above that there we go yeah I don't know I don't know where that's at um, it's probably in the like the actual keybind settings load course set first waypoint start behind uh, find field in folders. Oh, for loading the course. Okay, so yeah. So, just open your menu. Hit the one with the little map-looking deals on it. The little pinpoint things. Find your folder. Select the course you want to load. Because I'll probably, since I know this is individual now, I'll probably set up some for planting stuff too. So you'll have multiple things in here to load. But find the one you want to load, click it, and then you'll have a load course down here. Click load course, and then an activate will pop up. Click activate. And that's it. Make sure you're on first waypoint start in the field. If you're if you're emptying and then bringing it back, switch it to nearest waypoint. 
And that should be it. We're loading up. Gabe, we need help unloading stuff. We got stuff everywhere. Look at this. Stuff everywhere. <laughs> stuff everywhere. All right, let's switch that to nearest. Okay, that's good. And then off we go. I think you got it. Cool. Cool, cool. And if anybody has any questions in the comments, please leave them. Uh, and I'll try to I'll try to get back to you in comments if you're watching on YouTube later uh, to help you out with more if needed. Fine, I'll help unload. I don't. I mean, I don't care, dude. I'm messing with you. It'll get done eventually. I mean, it's all it's all running right now. Every every harvester. Uh, I don't have the other big M running yet. I'm about to though. I'm going to go empty this out, and then I'm going to start that other big M running. Um, and you can set these on which, however you want on whatever field. Just make sure when you do your target and field position, make sure you're at a, at, a, at a reasonable spot on the field. I always like to go to the corner and run the longest first. Uh, and if you have to do headlands, do the same. Uh, you can start headlands on the short side, though. It really doesn't matter most of the time. So it really just depends on what you want for field position since you have your own courses set up. It doesn't matter where you start them. When you load the course, it'll show you where your start position is. We need more tractors. Never thought you'd say that, did you? You start running course play, you can eat up equipment pretty quickly. Right, they're full. Put some more in this one. Surely these guys aren't out already. Hey, didn't we just put some in here? Maybe it didn't fill all the way up. I think these filled all the way up right here. Or that first one did anyway. Maybe this one's full too. Yeah, these are full. Okay. Cool. We'll go around. Drop a little bit off here too, why not? Top them back off. There we go. Go around to the other side now. More tractors and trailers. We really do like the um, to empty the empty the harvesters out. Like you're literally gonna spend more time just starting stuff on the field and then emptying it out than anything else at this point. I did an entire like when I was when I when I was learning course play, I was so wrapped up in it, I did an entire series on a stanchel apache with course play and it was it was so much fun i think my next single player may be that maybe like course play management and then really figure out course play and auto drive stuff like that got any baby moo moos i don't think so not in the igloos anyway is there, is there a way to move them like can you move the the babies out of that you missed that course play? Me too, man. Me too. Move. That's what he was saying. Move. Yeah, for some reason, um, it's since it's built on scripts and the consoles just won't do scripts. You know, that's what you end up with, sadly. But yeah, it'd be great. Uh, you can. There's a trailer to put them in, uh, put the babies into. Oh, cool. Okay. So you can move them out of there. Maybe we do need to keep some of the igloos then. Okay, there we go. That's running again. This needs to be emptied out. Where's he at? Down on the other side, maybe. We'll cut through the field. Something I've, I'm not used to doing because I play with crop destruction on pretty much everything else. It's too much trouble when they grow up. There are calf igloos in the store as well. That'd be that'd be fun just to do, to have a couple. We got two that have finished work. Hey, that's something new. Oh, also with course play, they'll back out of the crops too, just so you know. I don't know what just happened there, but 
I got really weird for a minute. <laughs> you have to sell them? You can't move them out? Really? Well, that's interesting. We're just going to move this over here between these and leave it. But I think we will have to go start this guy again. On nearest waypoint, we will. Okay. There we go. Should be good to go now. Alright. Like this one's done. Oh, the course is already going too. Nice. Okay. Oh, no, it's not. Stop. Oh, no, that was record. I don't want to do that. Yeah. There we go. All mode. All done. Is there another grass field over here? No, that's the only one on this side. All right, cool. This one done. This one's done too. Okay, so let's go up here and we hit stop. A lot of a lot of jumping back and forth when you're using this many implements for course play. It's kind of fun actually. Take this big... Oh, wait, there's another grass field in there. Yeah. Field 70. Let's go ahead and set one up on field 70. Uh, I guess this way we'll all have them loaded up the way we want, too. Like, how, however you want to set yours up, whichever way you want to start on the fields and whatnot. Yeah, this one's ready to cut too, sweet. Whoa! Okay. Go here, we'll go no course. Target position, right there. Build position, same place. First waypoint. Open generator, no headlands. Up and down, no bypass. Generate. There we go. We go make sure what field we're on. Field 70. Let's create a new folder. Field 70. Save course. Big M. Slash pickup. And there we go. Uh, just to double check, though, I'm going to make sure this is still set the same. Late and early. Okay. Uh, there we go. Sweet. Off he goes. Okay. So we grab this one and empty it out. Go ahead and switch that to nearest waypoint. That way, when we come back, it's already set. We'll know where to start at. What's up, Junior? How's it going, buddy? Wow, this John Deere does not like this thing at all. All right, where's the grass going? That I don't know. I don't know where to take the grass to. Any silo? Okay. I'll take it down here to these brown ones then, is that right? Of 
Oh, easy there. Easy there, guy. Rotate between the brown ones? Okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll drop it at the first one here and then the second one. Yes, indeed go check out J-Rock Nation. He's the one that made this map, by the way. Uh, you can find his link down below if you're watching on YouTube. If you're here on Twitch, there's his link right there. Go give him a follow. Currently working on some updates for the map. I wonder how to do that on the server. Like, I don't know how to update it on the server itself. Do I just upload the new one and tell it to overwrite the other one if it'll do that? Because I don't know if it'll let me do that on Nitrado. But there are definitely some quality of life updates coming. Um, and I don't know how to I don't know how to update it on Nitrado. Because I have to upload these files individually that are not on ModHub. So, not real sure how that works, to be quite honest. I think we're just here, so I'm on this one now. We get nearest, so I'm just going to start him there, let him go, and make sure it goes correctly. I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Okay. These are going. That one's going. What do we have over here? Oh, we get that one out here already. All right, sweet. That one's still going. That one's being dropped off. These guys up here are full, I bet. They are. Okay, let's switch that to uh, nearest. There we go. We should have some brown ones over here or some cows over here to drop off to. No cows over here yet, right? Yeah, there are cows, cow pins over here already. All right, sweet. Yeah, we got these. They, so they've color coded. Uh, Crystal and Gabe have color coded on here. So all the yellow equipment basically stays in this northwest corner. We got green equipment over in the northeast corner. And then all the other equipment in the southeast corner, or southwest corner rather. And then the southeast corner will have equipment in it too and more cows. So uh, we're, they're color coding everything, which is really good. Delete the current version off the server, then apply the new map zip. Man, that always makes me nervous. I'm afraid we're going to lose the lose the stuff we, we've done, you know. I don't know. It just makes me nervous to do that, but I understand. Okay. I just don't want to lose the progress. You know what I mean? Purple in the southeast, it sounds good to me. It sounds good to me. Really hate course play sometimes. I mean it can be it can be aggravating to start with, but um, especially this version. I don't fully understand this one. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't fully understand this version just yet. Like, I like Course Play 6. It was probably the best one I used. As long as you don't touch the save game. Okay, cool. So delete the other one, upload the new one, and we're good. I might do that, just to be sure. Bob is probably a Twitch thing. Most of the time when it happens, it's Twitch. Because I'm not dropping any frames or anything. My internet's running pretty solid today. I think I figured out my issue too. I don't think it's my router or my modem. I think it's my Cat5 going between the two. Because I've got a Cat5 that goes between my, my modem and my router. And today, before the stream actually, this morning, 
I had to unplug it and reseat it like three or four times for it to reconnect. So I think my cable is having a connection issue. One of the ends may be loose or something. I don't know. So I'm going to, uh, when my neighbor gets home, I'm going to borrow his, uh, a box of his Cat 5 ends. I'm going to redo the ends on it and see if that, see if that makes a difference. Uh, and it may be the Cat 5 I've got too. It may not be, because uh, I realize that's a 100 footer that I bought. Uh, buy a quality Cat 6 cable? Oh, I'm not, no, I'm not going to do that. My neighbor, my neighbor does installs. I'm just going to steal some of his, his Cat 5 or Cat 6. Cat 5E or Cat 6, whatever. How new is my router? I mean, it's a, it's a Nighthawk. It's a six band. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a gigabit router. Yeah, it's Cat 5E, but I don't know if it's high quality because those are, this, this is the Cat, I bought a Cat 5. And uh, Cat 5, Cat 5E does fine for, for gigabit. That's a, that's a common misconception. Yeah, Cat 5E does 5 for gigabit. But, yeah, I mean, he's got Cat 5E. He's probably got Cat 6 I could borrow, too. But, I mean, you don't have to have Cat 6 for, for a gigabit data. You can use Cat 5E for it. With distance, yes. But, I mean, you're talking 100 feet. You're not talking 300. You know, at 300 feet, I get nervous. But at 100 feet, eh. 100 feet doesn't really matter. It's going to lose a little bit, but it's not going to lose enough to make that big of a difference. At 250, 300 feet, you're going to start losing a lot. Like, I know that much because we run a lot of Cat 5 stuff with consoles now, sound consoles. Everything runs Cat 5. So, or Cat 5E. When I say Cat 5, I mean Cat 5E or Cat 6, by the way. Uh, I'm just used to calling it Cat 5. With Ethernet. How about that? With the Ethernet cable. <laughs> but yeah, every, everything now pretty much runs with stage boxes and Ethernet cable. So, uh, I do know that much. That at 200 feet, you, you start losing a lot. I do know that, so... And twisted pair cabling? Yeah. Yeah, because it creates a loop. That's true, too. Yeah. You should so you should ideally only have the link that you need. That is very true. For the most part, because most of the stuff you install in, in houses are not shielded. Uh, the stuff we use is shielded Cat Five, and if you figure eight it, or as long as it's not a whole lot of coal, it doesn't really get interference. Uh, it's just like a power cable, like. Uh, the feeder cable that we run that, that's like the main feeder um, you have to figure it or it can, can create a uh, a field and you don't want a like a magnetic field almost and give you electrical interference you don't want that either so uh, it gets real tricky but yeah so cat 5e is fine for gigabit connection if, if it's 100 feet or less it's probably not going to hurt anything um Shielded cable, preferably, like concert grade shielded Cat 5E or Cat 6, uh, would be fantastic, but that stuff's like three, four hundred dollars for 200 foot of it. <laughs> I'm not trying to pay that, uh, but yeah, he does, he does install stuff, so he's got, he's got some good high quality install cable. And the one that I'm running, I didn't realize, I only, only got him to run two for me, uh, one for Miss Deuce from the router to her computer, and then one back to my computer but the one running from the modem to the router is the piece that i bought so i'm assuming it's probably just not really high quality cable so i need to get two more from him um just to have an extra but yeah definitely need to change that out so i'm thinking that's what it is i'm thinking it's the ends are just not quality cable you know all right this guy's full down here again <laughs> It's going to be, when you got this many different things going on, it's going to be constant just running back and forth and stuff out. You only use Wi-Fi. I never use Wi-Fi. Almost never. My phone, my phone is connected to Wi-Fi. But it, other than that, I'm hardwired into everything. 
almost never use Wi-Fi for anything. Yeah, and if you're gaming, I do not recommend using Wi-Fi. Especially if you're a streamer, don't use Wi-Fi. If nothing else, go to Amazon and buy you a 50-foot Cat5 cable and hardwire in. Please do not use Wi-Fi if you're a streamer. Twenty-two bits. Thank you, man, for the twenty-two bits and all this tech talk. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, Gabe, Gabe knows way more about networking, of course, than I ever will. He's probably forgotten more than I'll ever know. Uh, but I do know that Cat Five E is fine for gigabit, as long as it's not a super long distance. Uh, and really, over over any Ethernet cable, about three hundred feet is is that's cutting it close. Over any Ethernet connection, I know that too. Well, it's not about the people, Celtic Moon. It's about the connection. You get a much stronger and more reliable connection if you're not running Wi-Fi. If you run a cable. Or don't use Wi-Fi when competitively gaming. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah. You just get a much more stable connection when you're hardwired. It's not going to hurt anything if you're using it. But you get a much more stable connection if you're if you're hardwired to the, to the modem or router. Most likely your router, but... That's the only reason I don't recommend it. Yeah, but again, though, I mean, you're you're like that's your job, though, is to network. So <laughs> that's your job is to network. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, my my router is a tri-band router. And on my phone back here in my office, the furthest point away I can get from my router, I still get like 250 up, 250 down on my phone, which is incredible, considering it's an, an old iPhone. But, <laughs> I mean, what is course play? So course play, uh, boss, is uh, what you see on the screen here. These two, right? Um, it's basically a GPS, but for your workers. So you can go in and set all that up. And you see all these lines on the field right here. It tells you which direction to go and everything else. So um, you, you go through and you set up a folder for each field. And you can set it up to do basically whatever that you can do with the tractor. Um, but course play is running right now. If you look in the bottom left, you see the green arrow. That is the start process. And he's on the nearest waypoint. So all these little dots are waypoints. It's a mod, yeah. It's only for PC, sadly, but um, man, is it great when you have this much stuff going on. All these little circles are all workers, but they're all on course play. And they're all over the place. <laughs> they're everywhere. Um, needs to be unloaded. Block by an object. Who's block by an object? What are you block by? Who needs to be unloaded? I don't see anything that needs to be unloaded. Oh, you need to be unloaded. Okay, hang on. We can do that. Where are you at? On the other side. Okay. But yeah, uh, yeah, basically that's it. I, I've gone through several times in this stream and shown how to set up course play. If you want to check it out later, it'll be on the Farmer Deuce YouTube channel on Sunday. Uh, and I do it multiple times. I do it slow the last couple times just so everybody can follow along really easily if you need to make notes. And that's just the very basic setting up a harvester on course play. So if you want to check that out, you're more than welcome to. Um, but I've gone over it several, several times uh, in the stream to make it easy for everybody to follow along. There's really good tutorials out there that break a lot of this down. Uh, setting up a harvester, setting up a planter, setting up all that kind of stuff. And I would definitely go that's check it out. A new follower. Uh, if you're interested in using course play for more than just... You know, whatever. So, Mr. Apple, thank you for the follow. A new follow. Wolf Gamer Legends, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. All right. Let's take this and park it right in the middle of these so that it's not in the way again. Make sure that it still runs. 
everything smoothly. Who else needs to be emptied out? That one? I think that one. Oh, that's the wrong tractor. Where's the... Oh, are we using this to empty out? There was one over here. I guess I got moved. All right. Go empty this guy with this one. But yeah, it's, it's really handy if you're running a very large farm by yourself. Uh, or with multiple people even, because we have, it's a, this is a 4x map, and we have a lot of tools on this on this map that need to be running pretty much all the time. And if you don't have 16 players on all the time, then this is the next best, the best thing, just use course play. Go. One segment of your talking through it to do a separate basic setup of course play video? I probably will. I probably will. I think I've done one before, but maybe not. I don't know. I thought I'd done one already, but maybe maybe I didn't. Alright, where's the soybeans going? Somebody somebody help me out here. I don't know where to take the soybeans. <laughs> also, this is our community map, so if you want to jump on and play with us, feel free. Uh, everything's in Discord. You'll just need to jump in and down. It's PC only. I should say that right away. Uh, it's PC only, but feel free to jump in and play with us. Uh, use the download mods link uh, in the FS22 MP info room, and you'll find all the information you need. The map was made by J Rock Nation right here in chat with us. If you want to ask any questions or if you want to uh, go follow his channel, that'd be even better. Go give him a follow. You just started Farm Sim 22. Nice, Wolf. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 good. I like Farm Sim 22. It's a lot of fun. Going to any silo, they're going to get sold in June. Okay, any silo. So any of the red barns then. You did do one for 19. Oh, I did. That's right. I actually started a series on like 17, I think, when Course Play 5 came out. But then Farm Sim 19 came out. And I was like, oh, okay, we'll just jump over to that one. Actually, you know what, Gabe? No, I did. I did. I think it's on my main YouTube channel, not on the Farm Reduce channel, though. I can't remember where I put it. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember where I put it. Uh, I'll do another one. And I'll actually, I'll actually work it out to where I'm not stumbling through it and then backtracking to talk about something else. So, uh, Is it the red ones or the, or the brown ones? I don't remember. Oh, we lost sound there for a minute. Red ones or brown ones? Yeah, give you permissions and you can get going. Yeah, for sure. Uh, there's lots of lots of work to do on here. If you want to join us and play, you're more than welcome. I did a qu yeah, I did one quickly on 22. That's what I thought. Yeah, I just don't remember where I put it. Any will sort it out later. Okay, so uh, red one is good then. Sweet. Yeah, I just know that we're not going to be able to put more in this, so I just want to run it back down there. Yeah, there's lots to do on here. You're more than welcome to join us. Anybody anybody that's watching later, yeah, feel free. Jump on. How can you join? Jump in Discord. Exclamation point Discord in chat. We'll give you the link. Once you jump in, assign yourself the farm sim role. Just read the welcome message. And uh, you'll find the room for role assign. You can give yourself a farm sim role. Any other role that's there that you want. And uh, you'll open up the farm sim channels at that point, and then you can find all the information you need there. Remember, though, it's PC only because some of the mods we're using are not on Mono, though, so, and we're using course play and, and GPS and all that kind of stuff too. Yeah, it's not as easy as, uh, hey, come join us, it's open, there's no password. Uh, mainly because it cuts down the amount of troll people you end up with. It's not because I don't trust people, it's just because I don't trust people, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, but basically, you got to work for it a little bit to get on here, right? I mean, that's that's part of it. you gotta you got to do a little bit of work to find everything to get on here, so people don't just get on and troll all the time. So it cuts down on some of, the, on some of that, so...
August 1st is the release date for Oklahoma DLC. Heck yeah. Trust but don't trust. Yes. I mean, that's, that's pretty much the way you should live life, right? Like, you trust people. You just don't fully trust people. Like, if I don't know you, I'm not going to fully trust you, you know? Like, I trust you as a person, but I don't trust you ha always have my best intentions at heart. So... That one may be full. I think that one's full. Uh, we're prepping for more cows down here. I know there's none in there and we're putting stuff in it, but we're prepping for more right now. Still don't have all of Texas done. Me either. Yeah, me either. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Uh, me familiar. <laughs> Oh man, that dude's a little bit crazy. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna hide that. I think that he's a little bit crazy. Wait, can that? What was that? Can that go here? What is this? Why did something pop up right there? That seems odd. Maybe I can back up to it right here. Come on, just push it out of the way. I know you got no horsepower. Maybe I can back up right here and dump it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's push him over out of the way. Is that it? Hey, everything's about family. We got 11 movies to prove it. Yes, that's true. That is very true. <laughs> Trust but verify. There you go. Yeah, I was never in the military. Uh, I appreciate the service. But uh, that is a better way to say it. Yeah, trust but verify for sure. All right, we're just going to get to. Over here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, trust but verify is a good way to put it. Uh, I don't distrust people as a whole, but I like to verify who I'm trusting before I trust them completely. Eleven of them. I don't think they're done yet. I'm gonna be honest. I think I think they probably will try to cash that check one more time. Oh my god, these things are full again down here. Oh, which way do we go? I don't even know which way to go here. We're so far away from everything. Uh, over there. Okay. Ninety-three. Oh no, this is the grain cart. Hang on, we leave this one. This is the grain cart. I thought this was the pickup wagon. It's not. Uh, pickup wagon. This one? This one. That one. We don't have a pickup wagon on that field yet. It's the never-ending movie franchise indeed, yeah. <laughs> the X-Files taught us to trust no one indeed, yeah. Yeah, Bob, trust but verify. No problem, Crystal. No problem at all. You never have to apologize. Get on when you can. Get off when you have to. Uh, the only thing I ask is if you're new and you're jumping on the server, don't start planting a field unless you can finish it. Because we hate half-planted fields. That's the, only, that's the only rule, really, other than just be friendly and don't troll people. Uh, you know. We don't need any of that crap on here. We're all trying to have fun, but... All right, the rest of these should be full, I do believe. Just stroll down through here a bit. Yeah, they're full. All right, sweet. All these pins are full on this side. The sad thing is I'm not a huge fan of Fast and the Furious series. It never ends. But I am a fan of the never-ending story, and it ended. Yes. Yeah, that sounds like something Bone would say. <laughs> Bone has rubbed off on everybody. Only the aliens are allowed to troll people. Yes. Yes, you were right. You were right about that. All right. 
All right, so uh, to recap, setting up course play, you open your course play menu with whatever your keybind is. Most of the time, it's right click. I think I may change mine to the middle click, middle mouse button, though, because it's just easier. And then it'll say no course, click it, and then you can set your settings, set to first waypoint, and then uh, save it in the folder. You go here, make your folder, name it whatever you want. When you want to load your course, click it, select that, and then load course active. That's it, activate. That's all you do. That's a very easy, basic, quick rundown. Uh, there's a lot more to it than that, but uh, that's pretty much that, though. You saying that's a bonehead quote? Yes. Yes, indeed, sir. Good call. <laughs> Thinking we may have to have something special for next Friday stream. Uh, probably should. The next Friday I won't be here, so so maybe something special for next Friday would be okay. The next Friday I won't be here. I'll be back the week after, though. Yeah, well, my neighbor gets home this afternoon. I'm gonna go steal a piece of his Cat Five. Or is Cat 6? I think he uses Cat 6 now. I'm going to have to look at this cable I've got running my computer because I think it's Cat 6. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Replace the cable first, see if that's it. And that may be it. That may be the whole problem. The cable just may be crapping out on me. Your bone do anything tonight? Yes. Yeah, that's the plan. I think we're going to play he uh, We Were Here 2. Or the second installment of We Were Here Together. Or We Were Here. The second installment of We Were Here 2. We Were Here Together is the third one, and then We Were Here Forever is the fourth one. Um, but that's the newest one, so I haven't picked it up yet, but I will if need be. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, it was a lot of fun last week playing that, so I think we may do that again tonight. And then, uh, after we finish that series, we may, we may go back to, uh, doing some more State of Decay 2, so. Well, I mean, I don't think, if it's the router, it would be really odd, right? Because on Wi-Fi, I get better speeds on Wi-Fi standing next to the router than I do hardwired in. And I've only got 100 foot of cable. And it's not even that. It's like 80 feet of cable. Over 80 feet of Cat 5e, I shouldn't be getting better Wi-Fi connection on an old iPhone than I am hardwired. You know what I mean? So I don't think it's the router. I think it's the cable itself and the connectors on the cable. Because I ordered it on Amazon and it's not a really expensive cable. So it's probably not real high quality and it didn't hit me until yesterday that's where that came from because i looked at the it looked at the cable difference and i was like well this isn't an install cable i mean it is but it's like one you order like complete cable the other is install cable that we ran cut put in zone you know like and i thought about it and i was like what if it's just the cable ends that are going bad Right? What if, what if, like a cable's pulled loose in one of them a little bit, where it's still making good connection, but it just, you know, it works its way loose over time or something. So I don't know. I'm gonna try that first. Uh, and I know Cat 5's either working or it's not. Right? If you if you cut one of the cables inside, it's not gonna work. I get that. But at the same time, maybe the ends are just cheap and they're not making good connection anymore. You know, maybe maybe this maybe this doesn't handle gigabit connection. Maybe it's just a regular Cat5 cable. Maybe it's not Cat5e. It may say Cat5e, but maybe it's not. You know, I don't know. So, yeah, I don't I don't know. I figure switching the cable is probably the cheapest way to go first. So, I'll probably just get it get a piece from him, run it, see if that's it, and then route it later. So, I don't know. Maybe that works though. But yeah, we'll be doing our thing tonight over on my main YouTube channel, youtube.com slash do some S if you want to come hang out. Uh, it'll be around 7 p.m. Eastern time, 6 p.m. Central. You're more than welcome to hang out with us. That is going to do it for the day, though. Uh, I need to take off a little bit. I got some other stuff I need to do around the house. Uh, I got to get my mower working. And today is kind of cool. It's like 94 right now, I think. <laughs> I say kind of cool. It's 94 out. 95. Close enough. Um... But yeah, that is going to do it for today. I appreciate you guys for being here. Thanks so much for hanging out. As always, uh, be safe. Have a good weekend if I don't see you tonight. I'll see you guys back on Monday. Uh, more Medieval Dynasty decorating on Monday on YouTube. And then uh, back to Iowa Plains View Monday afternoon here on Twitch. And if you're watching later on the Farmer Deuce channel, 
Don't forget all the links below. Nitrado is the reason we can host this server. The map is made by JRock. Uh, both links are down below. If you want to pick up a new game, head over to my Nexus store, especially if you're picking up like City Skylines 2. You can pre-order it right now and get a Steam key. Uh, if you're picking up Farm Sim 22 for the first time, you can get a Steam key on my Nexus store as well. So go check the Nexus store out. If you don't see the game in the top 10 list, in my search list there, there's a search bar at the top of my page. If you use that search bar, I still get commission if you buy something from there. Uh, I appreciate you guys, though. I'll see you all next time. Have a great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Later, folks.